Body camera video shows what led up to the deadly shooting of a Texas high school teacher who was reportedly going through a mental breakdown. He's got a knife in his hand. Just before noon on March 27th, a 911 call came into dispatch in DeSoto, Texas for a home break in. Now we'll look at your emergency. Don't open the door. I have an emergency. There's an intruder in my house and you need to come right now. The caller told dispatch an unknown white man walked into her home. She can be heard on the line yelling for him to leave. Okay, are you able to get, go outside or go to a different room? No. Is something preventing you? Yes, he's walking around. Get oh. now. Okay, we're gonna get Eunice over there. Can you no. separate yourself from them? Get yourself in a safe room. Get out now. The woman then tells dispatch the man has something in his hands. The officers need to get here now. Where are they? Lights and sirens. What part of the, of the house is he at now? So I can let them know. He's outside, just walking around in my yard. He just went outside in the front yard? Yes. Do you know if he has any weapons? He has something in his hand. I don't know what. When DeSoto police arrive on the scene, they find the man later identified as 42-year-old Michael Nunez outside. Just hours before this incident, Nunez, a teacher in the Dallas Independent School District, was released from jail following a separate situation. Uh, Sunday, March 26th, our offices were uh, called to one of our local parks and interacted with a, a subject that was um, acting irrationally and uh, was knock, knocking over trash cans and was littering. Uh, they took him into custody and uh, he was placed in our sort of regional jail. The subject was Michael Nunez, age 47. He spent the night in our jail. Days before that, Nunez had another interaction with police. He was uh, incoherent and irrational, and uh, again, he was knocking over trash cans at one of our parks, and uh, he didn't exhibit any signs of doing any harm to himself or to others, but they wanted to take him in um, because of uh, his actions. When officers found Nunez outside the 911 caller's home, they did not know his history with law enforcement. 8 a.m., we received a call for a burglary of occupants in a house in the 300 block of Polk Street. Little did we know at that time that uh, the subject that was involved at that time was the same subject, Michael Nunez. And our officers responded without knowing that, uh, that piece of information. Body camera video shows an officer approach Nunez and call for him to drop the item in his hands. After that, the officer opens fire. The officer can then be heard saying Nunez had a knife in his hands. He's got a knife in his hand. Body camera video shows the officers rushing to Nunez's side to provide medical aid. Let's see if I got medical. Hey, med unit around. Med unit around. Nunez died as a result of his injuries. His mother told Dallas TV stations her son was experiencing mental health issues, speaking of demons and God's treasure. At the time of his death, Nunez's mother was working to get him court-ordered mental health treatment. That court order was signed 20 minutes after he was shot and killed by police. The shooting is now under investigation by a separate police department. Once complete, the findings of that investigation will be turned over to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office for review. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.